Hello everyone, this is Chris Kent. I'm going to show you how to get started with Microsoft Forms. So Microsoft Forms is awesome for creating surveys or quizzes, and in our case we're going to show you how to make a quick survey we might use internally. So we're going to click on the new form button, and that's going to get us started here. So we've got a nice blank form here, and in our case uh, we've got a company picnic coming up. So we're going to call this company picnic uh, 2022. 2022, and uh, you know, we'll add a nice description here. It says uh, can't get Enough of your coworkers during the week. Good news! All right now, there's a company picnic coming up, so that's awesome. And in time, we hit this preview button. We can see how our survey is looking. Right, so we got a nice title, we got a nice description. We can even see how it looks on a phone. Ooh, fancy! Now, if we go back, we should add some questions. So we're going to hit this Add New to add a nice question here. So in this case, we're just going to add a pretty basic question, a text question. Uh, now, with text questions, you can make those short answers. You can make them long answers to get more room to type. In this case, we just want a short answer. I'm going to say, how many are coming? That sounds good. Um, and when we preview that, we can see, hey, there it is. How many are coming? You can enter your answer. And they can enter seven. Or, you know, in this case, they can actually enter whatever they wanted, which is not quite great. Now, they can also submit it without filling that out. So, in both cases, we want to change that. So, if you go back here, anytime you click on a question, it becomes editable. And what we're going to do is we're going to add or make this required. I'll add a little star, make sure they have to put it in before they submit, and we're going to add a restriction. In this case, we're just going to make it so it can be a number, but in this case, we want to see less than or equal to, and we're going to say maximum people can bring is five. And then just to make sure it's very obvious, we're going to add a subtitle. We're going to say, you know, including yourself. Sounds good. All right, so now if we preview that, now we've got this nice uh, required piece here. We've got the including yourself subtitle. And if we try and enter a four, that's fine. But if we come back here and we're at 44, oh, we're prompted and so we can't submit until we uh, fix that. So that's great, All right? So now we come back here, let's add one more question. And in this case, we'll add a nice choice question. Now there are a couple other question choice types here. You just hit the little drop down to see those. But in our case, we're just gonna pick choice. And here we're gonna type in, uh, you know, what uh, foods do you like for the eating? Sounds good, All right? And of course, they've automatically suggested some options for us based on our question. Uh, but in our case, we're just going to start typing. We're going to say pizza, we're going to hit tab, and then we'll type in hamburger, All right. and we'll hit enter. So we have another one. We'll say salad. Those are our kind of predefined choices. Uh, let's add one more. Let's apple sauce. Sounds really delicious, right? So now we've got apple sauce. Uh, we can quickly change the order of those. We put apple sauce on top to try and encourage people to do that. Uh, we could remove an option by clicking the delete. And in fact, we can even say add other option, which will let them fill in their own. And so if we preview that, we get this nice radio selection. So you can pick one, you can even pick other. And in that case, you can type whatever you want. Now, in our case, we actually want to let them select multiple answers. So when we click that, it becomes a checkbox, and they can pick as many of these as they want. So now if we preview that one more time, we have a beautiful form. It looks great. Uh, and we can go ahead and submit it, and we're all done if we'd like. But in our case, we want to make it look a little more than generic. So we come back here and we go to theme and you notice that it has got this little lightning bolt saying it's got some theme ideas based on our questions or our topics. Um, and we can come down here, we can see all of those suggestions. Uh, if we don't like any of those, we come down, there's these kind of standard colors, right? So we just want an orange. If you preview that and you get a nice, just orange as your accent color for everything. Uh, but that's not very exciting. There's of course also these uh, lovely ones with sea creatures and so on. Uh, if you really want, you can go in here and you can get your own image and your own color and you can go to town on it. Uh, but for our case, we're really happy with this auto suggestion of hamburgers everywhere. We're really trying to influence that choice, but that looks nice, right? So now we're good to go. And if we wanted to go ahead and start sharing that, we could. So if we preview this, uh, we can see what it might look like when those things come back. So how many are coming? We're going to say three and we really want applesauce and pizza and we're going to send it. And so we get your response to submit it and we get a nice thanks. Woohoo! All good. Now, if we take one less thing, we can come to the responses. We can at any time open these in Excel or see exactly what's going on here. Uh, and then there's a few settings we can adjust as well. We can click this and so we go to settings. And in this case, we are automatically recording the name, which is what we didn't ask. But it's, as, a, as a result, it's only open to those people in my organization. Or I can say very specific people and I can type in those names. I can also make it so that people aren't spamming it and asking for lots and lots of applesauce and say one response per person. Um, I could even say, uh, you know what, because this this coming picnic say on the uh, the 10th, uh, so you have until the 9th to fill this out. And at that point, it will automatically close and give a nice message saying, too bad, sucker, you're not invited to the party, right? 
Hey, we can even customize that thank you message instead of your response was submitted. See you at the picnic. Woo! Woo! There we go. Beautiful. All right, and that's all there is to it. You just hit this share and copy that link. You can even shorten that link so it's not so ugly. Pass that out to people. Uh, if you'd like to just start an email, you can click this. and It'll automatically open up Outlook or whatever your email client is with the link already in there, and you can send it out to the appropriate group. Uh, alternatively, you can hit this nice QR code button and you can download that as an image to stick in a PowerPoint slide or wherever else you need to put it. Um, and ultimately, you can also embed these inside SharePoint pages or even as a tab in Microsoft Teams. So uh, forms are super powerful and uh, useful for lots and lots of stuff. Good luck.